morning, people. Well, shit, uh, as of right now, I got a couple of problems going on between my truck and my trailer. My truck, my regen light came on last night. It came on last night while I was parked. And then when I got up this morning to um, warm the truck up, it started, um, it started flashing, so. So now, now I'm doing a manual regen on it. I got like 30 minutes left. Last night I did my first, I did, I pulled my first load last night with the pneumatic trailer. I was out with my trainer and my damn blower went out. I mean, my blower didn't go out. I got a leak, got a leak in my trailer. So I wasn't getting that much pressure and we was, man, it took us all night. It took us damn near a few hours just to blow all that sand off my trailer. So the guy that's training me, he said he know how to fix it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show you what the problem is, but he said he know how to fix it. So um, hopefully we get that fixed today and get back out on the road. Hopefully, hopefully this um, this manual regen work and I don't gotta call nobody to come out and get me. So like I say, man, I'm just now starting to get the hang of this. I actually like the job, but like I say, man, I, I can't make no money broke down. See right here, we had to stick up, we had to loosen these bolts up. And we had to stick a little piece of cardboard in there just so we didn't lose that much air pressure. And these little things right here. But this, but when we came over here, we noticed that the bolts, the bolts weren't even well, the bolts wasn't even tight. And it caused this, all this right here to blow out. And we had a whole bunch of air blowing out. So it wasn't getting no power. It wasn't getting no power blowing off our sand. So we had to loosen the boats up all the way, put this cardboard in there, and it worked, you know, a little bit. But right now, my, uh, my trainer, he's still taking a break. I think he eating some breakfast right now. So I'm waiting on him. We're going to come out here and unloosen these boats up. And we're gonna put some more rubber in between here, some thicker rubber. That way we don't have this problem again. And other than that, you know, the trailer works good. But like I said, now, my main issue is with this goddamn truck. So I hope the manual region works. So um, all in all, my first day was pretty cool. So we're gonna see how today go. Hopefully I get to get back out there and run another load. Up. We got the handy dandy tools out here. We're about to get this fixed. Uh huh. Get back out there, baby. If we had the the uh, see these gaskets are so are so um so thin, man. I don't know why they put these thin behind gaskets on here. And see what I'm gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to take this one off. Two. And cut this out and do a. Uh, it's it seems like the heat from everything is starting to. Yeah. Make it. But you know these up. these gasket here are not the best gaskets that they got on here. This thick tube right here. Huh? I say we're gonna put this thick tube right here. Yeah. What I want right there. Right. Get the space in between here. Yeah, that wasn't shit. Uh-uh. <laughs> now what I got to do. I gotta size that hole up. Yeah. Alright, that's done. See, I gotta take this off. I'm just wondering. I gotta take this off. Yeah. So I can I can uh Man, you go to the yard. Don't tell her how long to have you sitting there. I've been there for about two days. <laughs> a good two days. Man, she been helping Willie redo some of them hoses. Yeah. With the other guy that was on the white guy on the here. Uh huh. Doing that with him. I got the concept. You know. I'm like, oh my God. 
Yeah, man. We, like I say, when you. I'm watching you a little bit too. But the plants are closing. But then, another thing is, do I get this? When I work, I did I had the pumping and doing stuff like this when I worked offshore. Yeah. When you're working offshore at the roustabout, mm -hmm. you're doing a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, you might be you might be sweeping the deck this minute. Yeah. The next minute, they got you working on something. They give you the concept of how to do it. How to do it. And then you got to go do it. So. Yeah, see, all this shit do to me. <laughs> Yeah, you, you shouldn't have to do this here no more, man, once I fix this. Because what I'm going to have to do is, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to make two gaskets. Yeah. Out of this right here. And this is so thick, it's thicker than that, all that shit. Yeah, see, there. this shit right here, man. I mean, look how flimsy that is. Sand going to wear that. I mean, the edge just rolled out. Though it's a new trailer, it ain't a new trailer. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> you know, these trailers here were made in Mexico. Yeah, these trailers were made in Mexico. And you know that that tube right there? You know what that is? You know what that is? Well, this one? No. What the hose is going to? What is that? PCP pipe. Oh, that show is PCP pipe. I'm looking at it. This right here? Yeah, that's oh, right here. That's what you're talking about. Damn, he ain't never mind. Yeah. Oh, shit, flimsy, too. Ain't no PCP pipe. Okay, I see what you're talking about now. Ain't going to cheat right now. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, that's some dirty green on that. You burn some shit out here, boy. <laughs> exactly what I'm doing. Got it off, Gotta make sure that it stays like this right here. Cause I'm getting nothing in it. Yeah. I gotta go back just like that. Now, I gotta peel this off gently. Cause I'm gonna make gaskets out of this one. Okay. You know? Uh-huh, because I got to, uh, I'm going to use this thin part. I ain't going to mess with this thick part. But I'm going to use this here, because this is going to be a little better. <clears throat> yeah, this is going to be a little better. I hope this don't take me too long. And once I fix this, because see, man, any type, of, any type of air leak you got, man, it's going to, I don't care if it's that trailer. It's gonna take you a while to get that shit out because yeah, you got yeah. air leaks. Especially if you got bad air leaks up there, you might well forget about it if you got bad seal, see? You can't have no air leaks nowhere. And just that little leak pumping off cars, that's all. Yeah, it was putting out a lot of air. Man, it was blowing a lot of air out until I put this in there and stopped this one, you know? But then on the bottom, it's coming out of the bottom too, see? Coming out the bottom. Yeah. Coming out the goddamn bottom. Now here come the hard part. <laughs> here come the hard part. Take that long, man, for you guys' <laughs> help, man. I sure appreciate that, man. That knife you got is a goddamn lightsaber. Listen, I just had that shit in my, in my pickup truck when I saw it. I put it in my pocket. Uh -huh. I, see, I see what you said. When it's too far up on it, I can't get it stuck. Probably what it is is, uh, hold on, what's that piece of rubber or something on it? Yeah. Oh, okay. When I, uh, yeah, that's what happened. When I pushed through. Let me see that little knife. Watch it. Say what now? Okay, all right, I'll send it to you right now. Oh, okay. 
okay, I'm over here picking this guy's trailer. Can you huh? see that? Oh, I'm trying to get it through the gasket and the. Oh, I see. There he is. Is that the way you, the boats work? Huh? Yeah, they, they going like this. They going like that. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, they going like that. Mm-hmm. Got it all fixed up for me. That thick ass rubber right there. Ain't no ass squeezing through that. We good to go now, baby.